Good afternoon, Nerdfighters. Today is Tuesday, Ashland Tuesday, and today I'm going to be talking about very valuable Klingon words that you can use in any situation. I apologize for all the makeup I have on. I'm in a show this week. I'm wearing a shirt for it. Pop show. It's basically where we sing a bunch of Motown songs, but that's not the point. For those of you who don't know what Klingon is, it is a language used by the Klingons in Star Trek, and in the original series, the Klingons were portrayed as the enemies or the villains of the series, but as we get into Next Generation and even towards Undiscovered Country, which is the sixth movie, um, the Federation becomes peaceful with the Klingons, and so they are united under the Federation and its treaty. Now, <laughs> the various <laughs> ways in which that treaty gets broken and rebuilt over the years does not matter, because right now, we're talking about the Klingons and their language. Now, if you do not have a copy of this, or if you want a copy, you should go get one. Even if you don't want a copy, you should go get one. It's called the Klingon Dictionary. Um, it's so easy, you just put it in your backpack, you take it to school, and all your friends hate you, and you become an instant nerd. Basically, isn't that what a nerd fighter is? Except for they have friends. <laughs> okay. So if you're going to a foreign country, there are a couple of words that you need to know. For example, yes, no, please, thank you, where's the bathroom? In Klingons, there is um, other kinds of phrases that are very important to know. Yes is kija, no is gobi. The phrase do you speak Klingon is lunging do gajiga. The phrase where is the bathroom is nuktak kok patoe. There's a very specific inflection used when speaking Klingon. Now, if you're in the Star Trek world, you might want to use beam me aboard which is Kijol. Klingons also have, you know, very specific phrases that they use just for being Klingons. Uh, like, you know how in English we have, like, certain, like, strange phrases like that sounds as right as rain, or... I can't think of any more. And the Klingons, being a race that has a very violent history, and they're very... they're warriors. They went from being very savage warriors to very competitive and sort of savage warriors. I love the Klingons, don't get me wrong, but they still have a lot to think about when it comes to peace treaties and dealing, especially with women. Sometimes Klingons will use the phrase, 4,000 throats may be cut in one night by a running man, and in case you're ever in a situation where you need to say that, you just say, Kash Darvik Radna Loshada Shudekaboda. And then another one of my very favorite Klingon quotes is, Revenge is a dish best served cold. And that is said by Kang, uh, one of the Klingons in Undiscovered Country that Kirk initiated the peace treaty with. He ended up being a traitor, uh, but we don't talk about that. But uh, Revenge is a dish best served cold. You hear it a lot it, because it's from Moby Dick, I believe, was the original connotation of it. And you say that by saying, and now we must talk about the most important Klingon word, because like any language, Klingon has its cuss words. I won't give you a direct translation, but I'll give you an example. Go to the dishes, Patak! Where the Patak do you want me to go? Patak! I want that one. And there you have it. Now you know some phrases in Klingon that will help you throughout your daily life. Hannah, I will see you tomorrow.